Hi, Martino and Justino here with the best weapons in State of Decay 2. I'll list the best ranged and also the four best melee weapons. There'll be also no DLC weapon on this list, so no pyro launch or a heavy Cleo sniper, especially because the 22 perfect daybreak runs, so 7 perfect waves times 22 you need in order to get it is an annoying grind. I also kept the amount of Bounty Broker rewarded weapons to 1 because despite the good looks of certain assault weapons, they aren't much different from normal weapons that you can find by looting, killing enclaves, searching hidden weapon caches or obtained by missions and traders. So we start with the SWAT 416 which needs 5.56mm rounds and has a capacity of 30 bullets, R3 fire modes and a good accuracy, control of 85% and solid accuracy of 90%, solid power for a 5.56mm gun and comes with an ACOG scope. It was a reward from the critical response pack but can be looted by killing enclaves to turn hostiles but you gotta be lucky. I killed about 40 to 50 hostiles in my last community within 30 hours and only found two bounty broker weapons on them. But then there's also the Echo S7 assault rifle which is similar to the SWAT, so it's an alternative but it can zoom in, has less power and it's part of the Trumbull Valley bounty pack that will be retired at the end of June. Another similar weapon to the SWAT 416 is the GSGW because it's like the SWAT a modified AR-15 version. Next one is the Preppers 1022, a 22 caliber rifle with a huge magazine that holds 50 rounds. It can be found by a gun shop or play card loots. And the ammo is extremely cheap to craft and easy to get. With a 90% fire rate, above 90% accuracy and 85% control, it's a solid must-have early game weapon. And this was a Looks point like where I was thinking to put on the UMP SMG. But screw the UMP, burn it, savage the same weapon. It's also a critical response weapon so you don't even need it and it's worse compared to the Spec Ops Vector SMG, one of my favorites. It has a single burst and auto fire mode and needs 45 caliber rounds. The best way to craft them is by installing a handgun ammo press. It comes with a professional suppressor. You want to switch to an advanced for longer durability. It also has a red dot scope and a drum magazine that it packs 50 rounds. Its fire rate on auto is extremely high but also the control and durability. You find this by traders, especially retail and enclaves, by looting military outposts, gun shops or trauma tents. The AK, no, not the ugly 74U Valentine. It's a bounty reward and then it's ugly as hell. Has no burst mode and the power is average, even for a 5.56mm. But I want to talk about the Preppers AK-47 which packs 7.62mm rounds but only has a full auto or single fire mode, which is a drawback in my opinion because the burst mode is great for playcards and juggernauts. The power is at 95%, accuracy 90%, control 85% and durability at 80%, plus it comes with a drum size magazine of 75 shell capacity and a handmade suppressor I advise you to switch if you have a better one. You can find it by looting hidden or secret crates, doing the prepper questline or looting dead AIs that you either turn hostile or like I found it by going to a survivor in need quest where the guy died before I entered the building and then looted his body. A good or even better alternative to the preppers AK-47 is the Eternal Infinite Guard Rate or something like that. It has 150 bullets in the magazine as a capacity. So if you find one of those, it's even better but it has a longer reload time. So a lot of you love the sighted Scar H and it's a rare and strong weapon but I prefer the RTX Stormbreaker that you can obtain by doing missions for the Red Talon or encounter a Red Talon Trader or rare Vandering Trader who stays on your map for about 3 hours and 15 minutes but it can also be found extremely rare in weapon trades. It has the same stats like the AK-47 just with the difference that it has a capacity of 60 rounds, a range of 45% instead of 20% and like 5% less durability. And yes I did an intentional in this footage to shoot around without a silencer to attract more sets with this weapon and showcase it better. And then the best ranged weapon hands down, it's just a personal preference ever since I played State of Decay 2 for the first time, the Echo X3 repeating crossbow. It may not be the strongest weapon nor have a long range but it's the quietest weapon due to being a crossbow. Plus it'll never break or jam, has a magazine that packs 10 bolts and only needs light bolts which is the easiest ammo to craft. I take out orts after orts and infestations over infestations within seconds and undetected. It's just wonderful, magnificent. But I also need to talk about anti-material rifles of course since many of you are here for the firepower. The go-to choice is the M99X Timberwolf. All anti-material rifles were nerfed a long time ago, so the B50FG Timberwolf Mint Model 9950 don't need only 3 shots anymore to destroy a play card or kill a juggernaut but 8 for a heart and I think 5 or at least 5 to bring down a juggernaut and a 6-1 to kill him. I would suggest the M99X Timberwolf above the other two because it never breaks and is a bit quieter and easier to get by. For example by rare traders who come to a map on real time Fridays or Saturdays and the other way to find it is by community member quest to search for eagle eyes weapon. 
But keep in mind, that's why I haven't put it on the list and it's more like an honorable mention. It was nerfed and the anti-material rifles all need AP-50 caliber rounds which are the most expensive to craft by heavy duty press or extremely rare to find. And then I also, yeah, less showcase you or tell you details but also want to put on for melee weapons onto this list. My personal preference because I'm a blade lover, best of the Woodsword, the Excadaver which is also a community member quest that is exclusively, but then the Echo X2 member is also a great weapon. It's also quite as quiet as the best of the Wood has high lethality and only weighs two pounds. The Bellwood Sword weighs one and a half pounds and then also the Ultralight X which can be found by looting normal containers on in barns or found by vendoring traders. The Bastard of Bellwood is mostly found and I think only in these hidden secret crates, caches, however you wanna call them. The Echo X2 Mamba can be obtained by Red Talent contractors um, who also trade. Or if you enter the buildings, like I said about the Prepper AK-47, the survivor need quests where the contractor or the survivor died before you enter the building by looting them or killing hostile enclaves because most of them have at least one red talent contractor who has a number as a melee weapon so yeah these were my best weapons instead of the k2 leave me your opinion down in the comments and what's your, in your opinion the best weapon either ranged or melee weapon thanks for watching stay healthy have a good time goodbye